Do you want to learn how to make your own variable power supply using LM317 voltage regulator? Then watch this tutorial from start to the very end. Let's get started. The LM317 is a fully adjustable 3 terminal positive voltage regulator capable of supplying 1.5 amps with an output voltage ranging from around 1.25 volts to 37 volts. We can set the output voltage to desired level with the corresponding input voltage being anywhere between 3 and 40 volts. If we look at the pinouts of the LM317 voltage regulator, pin number 1 is the adjust, pin number 2 is the output and pin number 3 is the input. The output voltage of the LM317 is determined by the ratio of two resistors R1 and R2 which forms a potential divider network across the output terminal. The voltage across the feedback resistor R1 is a constant 1.25 volt reference voltage. We reference produce between the output and adjustment terminal. The adjustment terminal current is a constant current of 100 microamps. Since the reference voltage across the resistor R1 is constant, a constant current I will flow through the other resistor R2, resulting in an output voltage which can be calculated using this formula. The input voltage VN must be at least 2.5 volts greater than the required output voltage to power the regulator. The LM317 has very good load regulation providing that the minimum load current is greater than 10 mA. So to maintain a constant reference voltage of 1.25 volt, the minimum value of feedback resistor R1 needs to be 1.25 volt divided by 10 mA which is equal to 120 ohms and this value can range anywhere from 120 ohms to 1000 ohms with typical values of R1 being about 220 ohms to 240 ohms for good stability. In my case, I will be using 214 ohms. If we know the value of the required output voltage V out, let's say 9 volts, and the feedback resistor R1 is 214 ohms, then we can calculate the value of R2. Of course, in practice, a resistor R2 would normally be replaced by a potentiometer so as to produce a variable voltage. This is the LM317 voltage regulator, pin number 1 is the adjust, pin number 2 is the output and pin number 3 is the input. We will also be needing a 33 microfarad capacitor, the longer lead is the positive and the shorter lead will be connected with the ground. We will also be needing a 214 ohm resistor and a variable resistor, also known as potentiometer. I have already soldered 3 wires. We will also be needing a female DC socket for connecting, an adopter and a Vero port for soldering the components. First we start with LM317 voltage regulator. Fix this on a Vero board and solder the legs and make sure that you don't apply too much heat as it can damage the regulator. Then we connect a 214 ohm resistor between the edge just and V out. This is R1. Then I use a silicone gun to fix the potentiometer. Connect one wire with the adjust pin of the LM317 and the remaining two wires are connected together which later will be connected with the ground. And then we connect a 33 microfarad capacitor. Its positive leg is connected with the VN and the short leg will be later connected with the ground. Solder legs and again don't apply too much heat. I used a blue wire to connect this with the ground. Now take two wires and apply some solder and connect these wires with a female DC socket. Green is the positive and black is the ground. And finally take two more wires, apply some solder and connect these wires with V out and ground. The output voltage will be available on these two wires. On the output side I am using a 5 volt adopter. The digital multimeter is set on 20 volts. And now by rotating the potentiometer, we can change the output voltage. This variable power supply is ready and can be used to power up different electronic circuits. In my case, I will be using this power supply in my upcoming tutorials for powering up the ESP8266655 module which needs 3.3 volt. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss anything. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.